What's up guys welcome back to the part 2 tutorial of our VFXO and now that we have the module the next thing to do is to add a texture so when you come to shading right here now we can add a texture to this and for this type of effect I'm using two texture I'm using concrete and grand texture so when you click on new we add a principal BFDS shader as default and we need to input our grand texture first so go to your texture then drag it here then connect the color into the base color of the texture here and now you can see that this is not working well I see nothing is going on here so it's because we have not unwrapped our model and we need to come to the uv editor here when you come here and just press a to select all your vertices and you can see that there's nothing here okay to unwrap this we need to just press alt click to select this face and just press ctrl e then come to mark screen all right now you can press a press u and click on unwrap you can see that this appears here now press a and press g to drag it here now press s and x to scale it into the x axis like so okay now when you come to shading you can see that we have our grand texture and it's pretty clean and neat okay and the second thing to do now is to add our concrete texture and to do this we need to add a mix shader now press shift a come to come to shader then go to mix shader log it here right here now we need to duplicate this principal shader just press shift D, put that here, and put the output into the shader here. Alright, like this, you can just put it up here. Now we need to add our concrete, just come down, look for your texture, then drag it. Now I need to connect it into the output to the base color input here all right now if this factor here the factor control the visibility of this each texture when this is 100 percent you will see our concrete and when this is zero percent we see our grand texture and we only need this concrete the top face of this hole and the other will be the ground like let me show you what i mean here you can see here the concrete is only at the top face of the o all right now come back to this okay now we need to do a mask for this and that is when texture painting comes in so when it comes to texture painting here this is where we are create a mask for this all right now we are going to paint the factor here the first thing to do now is to so click and add here and add a base color to this click on the color then make it black and press okay now we have a base color which is the black and white mask we want to create okay now we will paint the black here just paint like so doesn't have to be perfect all right guys now we have the mask we want now we'll come to save this here just go to me then 
click on save okay now to add this come to shading this is the mask we created as you can see this is the mask all right just put this here and this mask will be at the factors of this mix shading like this all right and you can see that this shows all that way around the concrete is the behind it and the ground is on top of the o so we need to invert it so just click shift a come to color then select invert just put it here and you can see now this is exactly what we want All right, guys. So, and to fix this top face here, we need to also paint out this place by adding mask like we did earlier. Now, the first thing to do now is to create a new mix shader. We can duplicate this with Shift D and put it here. And we need a new mask for this. All right. Just come to texture painting. Click here to add the base color. Just put it black like we did and press OK. So this base color, just come to shading here, will be in the factor of that. Just put it at the factor here. All right, now duplicate this with Shift D, then put it here, then connect it to the down shader here. like so i know that there's nothing going on here right now just change the color so that we can understand this when we paint okay now come to texture painting now when we paint on okay we do the colors paint the blue on top like so just make be careful on painting this because we don't want to paint on our base color we just want to paint this top the edge of the top here like so all right guys now i'm done meeting this test show this is also a black and white texture, don't be confused. Just go to the base color. And you can see that this is a black and white texture. Now we need to save this. Just go to save and save it somewhere. You might not forget it, just save it somewhere. All right, like so. Now to do this, we need to come back to shading. Okay guys, now we need to increase the reference of the boat shader, the concrete, and the ground texture okay like so now we need a bump here in both the ground and the concrete so now press shift a go to texture then select a nice texture all right drop that here now we need another node which is bump node just come to vector then select a bump now collect the color to the height and the normal to the normal now we need to increase the scale here okay just increase the scale of the noise texture all right and also the detail increase it okay now you see the effect now you can see that we have bump here in the ground texture now we need to also do this to the concrete texture but instead of repeating the same step we can just duplicate the node and paste it just press shift d to duplicate the bump node then put it here then drag the connection from the noise texture to the second bump we added and connect to the normal of the principal shader like so 
all right and what you see now you will see that we have bump on our concrete texture and also on our ground texture all right guys and this is the end of the part two tutorial and thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the final part of the tutorial which is the part three